Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to share uh, a few things about myself, something that I've been meaning to share for a long time in a video. I've been wanting to make a video about this for quite some time now. And it's the fact that for some reason, I have never been able to go on an elevator alone. I can't go on to an elevator by myself. Even if it's just a two-story building and I try to test myself, if it's just like at, uh, like at the Pilot Travel Center and you go upstairs, they have the stairs, or you can take the elevator. And there's just one story, or two stories, I'm sorry, there's two stories. And you can take the elevator and go upstairs and downstairs, or you can just you can climb the stairs. And I always take the stairs, and I want to, uh, and uh, unless someone else is with me, that's the thing. I, I can't take, I can't go into an elevator unless there, there's someone else in there. And that's just always been something that, and I looked up on some spiritual forums, and there was there were abduction forums and things like that, and apparently that is one of the symptoms for some reason. You can't go onto an elevator, and you can't. I can't sleep facing toward the wall either, hardly ever. I can hardly ever sleep facing toward the wall. My back usually always has to be facing toward the wall, and I have to be facing the other direction, out into the open. And that's how I've always been, practically. And as far as the uh, the fear of elevators, now, someone stated that, I mean, you know, Google will tell you that, oh, it's agoraphobia. Well, ag agoraphobia is a fear of, like, it's claustrophobia, basically. And that's well, that's what they try to state that the fear of being in an elevator alone is. And that's not, that's not the case for me. And um, they try to state that if you've got, if you've got a fear of elevators, then you have agoraphobia. Well, that's not, I mean, I, I actually, I went into the, um, they told me I was the best patient they ever had when I was, when I had cover kids, and I was actually able to go to the hospital and the doctor's offices when I needed to, but I can't now. I don't want to talk about that. The healthcare in the United States of America blows. Uh, but anyway, um, it stinks. It stinks on ice! <laughs> but anyway, back to this topic. I uh, I was actually in the uh, the thing that goes and makes those noises like the cat scan thing, and they were searching for any type of thing they could find any problem they could find with me or whatever. But I actually went through that with no problem, and they said, "Oh, I was the best patient that they ever had." I was literally, they said, "I was literally the best patient." Most patients go through claustrophobia and things. Ho ho ho! It means he's scared of Santa Claus. Ho ho ho! <laughs> no, um. I was literally the best patient they stated. I'm like, well, that must mean that I'm not claustrophobic then. Well, actually, I am a little bit. I am to an extent. I know my Nana is really badly. And majority of the family on that side is. But I'm actually not really claustrophobic. So why would I be scared of elevators? I'm not too claustrophobic. It depends on the moment. Sometimes I'll have an anxiety attack or a panic attack. And then I, I can't stand to be in closed spaces at that point. But why, why would I have a fear of elevators? Or at least, why do I have a fear of going on elevators alone? I can't get myself to go onto an elevator by myself. I just can't. It could be mainly because I mess electronics up so much and I'm afraid that I'll mess the system up. And I'm afraid I'll screw the elevator up. That could be it. That could be the main purpose, the main reason why that I can't go onto elevators by myself. But if someone's there, I'm okay. If someone's with me, but by myself, forget about it. Forget about it. Nope. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Can't sleep toward the wall, facing the wall, and I cannot go onto an elevator by myself. That's just something, uh, that's something that, well, I haven't so far. And if I do, I'm like, <sighs> you know, I have a really big fear or panic attack mode where I'm afraid that something will happen or that the uh, electronic system in it or something will screw up. I don't know. So, who knows? I don't know what causes that. Let me know your thoughts on this. Peace. Signing out. Much love.